Hey folks, it's me, Fred from CR Machine, and uh, uh, here's a video that I've, I'm putting together here to help people figure out which is the most optimal head or combustion chamber size for the engine configuration that you may have. Um, I, I, I make several sizes, and that's for a reason. Um, it's really impossible to have one size fits all if you're interested in optimum performance. And um, when it comes to combustion chamber sizes, um, it's, it's good to um, select an optimal size because it's, it's almost like getting free power uh, for the amount of fuel you use. Um, as long as your engine operates under 300 degrees Fahrenheit, um, uh, even when it's approaching 300 degrees Fahrenheit, that's when you when you have to start thinking about um, uh, backing off on the throttle or or selecting a different uh, combustion chamber size. So to save you uh, the hassle of of having to do lots of experimentation. Um, I have, uh, through my own testing, um, I have, I have really zeroed in on uh, combustion chamber sizes. Um, that's why the six cc head uh, has been uh, the combustion chamber size of of everybody now. Um, that that's in the business of making heads. Um, it, it's, it's the most uh, uh, versatile. However, it's not optimal for all conditions. So, let's get with um, my new heads. The, uh, these haven't even been deburred yet, but, you know, that's okay. You can handle that. <laughs> this is just a video. Uh, uh, 5.0, for example. That's the uh, highest compression I've made. And um, it's a more efficient... Um, designed because of the miniature spark plug I'm using. And um, so the 5.0, the highest compression, um, that one should be used on stock to mildly advanced engines if you're using pump fuel. So what's a stock to mildly? Well, you know what a stock engine is. Small carburetor. Um, uh, uh, restricted exhaust, restricted inlet and exhaust, basically. So you can afford to have higher compression in that situation. That'll give you good miles per gallon, for example. And um, the other uh, scenario where the 5.0 cc head will work is a uh, moderately advanced engine, but you have to be using race fuel. Um, and uh, note here, the 5.3 cc head is no longer available. What's taken over is the 5.0 new competition head. And then now we move to the 5.5 cc. 5.5 cc and the 6.0 cc are kind of like in the same ballpark. Um, uh, you can get away with slightly higher compression with a new competition head because of the miniature spark plug it uses. Uh, it's more uh, uh, more effective uh, heat uh, removal in the combustion air uh, combustion chamber. So this head and this 6.0, this is the uh, older. This is the uh, kind of like the standard design that most people get. Uh, you usually can't go wrong there. Um, but in the interests of being optimal, um, these uh, factors should be weighed. And there are more factors too, such as uh, rider weight, uh, how heavy, how heavy are you? Um, you know, if you're traveling up a hill and you weigh a lot, um, your engine, you're going to be pegging the engine. And you won't be traveling as fast, therefore your engine, air-cooled engine, won't be cooled as well. Uh, so adjustments have to be made. Uh, to the combustion chamber size. Uh, it also depends on the, the, the racetrack or the road street track that you're riding on. 
um, if uh, if if it involves long distances, high speed, continuous full throttle operation, um, again, you have to start you know going towards a lower compression. If you're uh, doing short little blasts of, of, of throttle, then you're off the throttle. Well, when you're off the throttle, you're actually getting some cooling done, and 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 and, and temperature engine temperatures will drop. So those can, those situations can tolerate uh, smaller combustion chambers or higher compression ratio. And uh, gearing, even gearing, um, you know, if you have a small rear sprocket. Um, yeah, you're probably, you know, wanting to go fast and, and you're going to be at full throttle all the time. Uh, whereas if you're running like a 42 sprocket, honestly, you're just going to get to red line really quick and you're going to have to back off on the throttle. That'll, that'll make the engine produce uh, less heat. So the 5.5 and the 6.0 are, is designed for moderately advanced engines like the sick bike parts uh, expansion chamber that when, when somebody that's very popular a pipe has a one inch header um, it's not really restricted but it's not a highly advanced system so um, I call that a moderately advanced engine and then the exhaust system that you connect with the two-stroke engine has a dramatic effect on the volume and the power that the engine will make and therefore the heat and and things have to be uh, adjusted uh, in, in order to prevent um, enough partial detonation the partial detonation you'll see dark pistons that that are are dark colored on the underside of the piston crown um, and uh, you'll see signs um, you might see those little speckled um, uh, uh, like uh, almost like little white specks, tiny white specks uh, on on certain areas of the piston uh, crown and 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 possibly around the spark plug. Those are signs of pretty serious detonation occurring, and um, and, um, and it puts really bad stress to the engine, destroys bearings. Um, uh, speaking of bearings, you know, a lot of people talk about getting uh, Japanese bearings as if that's going to prevent a bearing failure, but really uh, uh, the Chinese stock bearings are excellent. They're excellent quality. Nothing wrong. I can't fault them at all. All the, the hardness of the material, the finish of the grind, um, nothing wrong. And the proof's in the pudding. I use them. Uh, Dave Rust uses them in high output engines, and no, none, no crankshaft bearings are failing. Um, what destroys them is detonation, overheating, and detonation. Uh, so, uh, anyway, 5.5 and 6.0 mid-range combustion chamber sizes for moderately advanced engines using pump fuel. A moderately advanced engine, like I say, could be a sick bike parts uh, equipped engine. Uh, and it can be an engine with, you know, maybe up to a 19 millimeter carburetor. Um, in fact, you don't want to uh, put a much bigger carburetor on when you have a, a, a moderately advanced exhaust system. Um, you know, big old hole on the input and a small restricted hole on the output. Really, the overall flow is going to be restricted and you'll probably have bad low-end performance. So you don't want to put like a massive carburetor on a, uh, on a moderate, moderately uh, advanced exhaust. Okay, so the other situation where these two mid-range uh, combustion chamber size heads would be effective on would be a highly advanced engine if you're, however, using race fuel. Okay, race fuel is, well, it's race fuel. It's, you know, if you get it, it's, you're going to want to select leaded fuel um, uh, of 100 octane at least. Um, I personally prefer like 110, but, um, you know, I think some people like to choose 100. Um, just watch, you know, 
Be, be aware of temperatures. Get a temperature gun. You, I, I, I often just use my hand. I feel it, you know. When, it, when she's warm and you can touch it, you're like, yeah, that's not hot. But when you get close and it feels like you're getting near a broiler, no, that's too hot. And you know there's something wrong. All right, so that covers that one. And lastly, the uh, 7.0. This is the low, lowest compression head I make. And that does have a purpose. Um, and that is for highly advanced engines using pump fuel. So a highly advanced engine. Well, that's with a big carburetor. 19 millimeter or 18 millimeter plus. Um, or bigger, you know. And an optimal exhaust. The optimal exhaust, you know, has roughly an inch and an eighth header diameter and has a voluminous chamber and and also that the, your header length should be correct so it actually in fact does supercharge the engine but when all those things are right uh, it the, your engine will become a highly advanced engine provided that your port sizes and port timing is is, is good I mean if you screwed up on the porting well then forget it we're not talking about those situations so um, I think that's that's it hopefully that'll help visual things kind of help with me and uh, I have these descriptions um, written in my uh, uh, my website store crmachine.com and um, and it's written in but uh, f some people are more visual and um, this is for you all right I hope that helps. Thank you.